I'm sure someone will inevitably yell at me, so I changed the sub badges. That is, that happened. You don't need to ask me. I did. So here's the thing. Uh, I was thinking about changing the cheer badges to be like an, an ignition on the bomb. So it would be like a bomb that's ignited. But the problem is I'm pretty attached to the the Weezer album cheer. So I haven't touched that yet. I was looking for opinions from, from I don't know, people that have donated. You look bad. I shaved. You guys have been asking me for fucking two years to shave. I do it and you say that I look bad. Thank you. The sub badges look edible. I don't know what that means. I like this badge a little more. Alright, nobody, not a single person even acknowledged my direct question to chat, so I guess I'll just leave the cheer badges how they were. A holy spirit, what does that even mean? Okay, uh, goodbye YouTube stream, and all fucking three people that are looking at it. So today I plan on playing... Good night, night, and get to the orange door. There are two game demos that I've been eyeballing for a while, and now they're they're not connected. They're two different games, but uh, both of them are available in demo form now. I don't know if they're particularly good or bad. I've just been following the development in my free time, and they looked fun. So uh, I'm going to devote some time today. I don't know how long each of them are. I can't imagine they're more than, you know, an hour or two each. If I have a lot of leftover time after these two, I may go play, like, Tetris for a bit. Uh, I'll go ahead and erase my test one. But yeah, this is the first one. It's... I, what would I describe it as? Like... Like an old school RPG type thing. Uh, how many audio takes? That's a good question. It's not really a straightforward answer. When I record my scripts for videos, what I do is I'll make two audio layers in, you know, Ableton Live or Audacity or whatever I'm recording with. And then, like, because I usually have it, like, written down. Like, I don't know. Generally, it takes two takes of each sentence, if even. So if I have five pages of script, no audio, how about fucking now? Anyways, uh, yeah, I, I, oh shit, we're, the game's already started. I don't know, I'm, I've gotten pretty good at it. It's not a super long process for me, I guess. Yeah, new sub icon. I was asking people whether or not whether or not the average donator would be fine with me changing the cheer badge to be a little bomb ignition, but literally nobody answered me. So I guess I'll decide that one for myself. But like I was saying, Good Night Night is like an old school RPG. The actual gimmick of this game isn't apparent yet. I think it's a, it'll be apparent after the tutorial concludes. But I've made sure to not spoil myself too much. So it's a fresh try. But I also know enough that it's not completely blind. You like that idea? See, thank you. That's all I wanted. An answer. There's a new GTOD demo. I can PM you it. The one on Steam is older. That'd be great. Uh, if you know my Discord, that'd be the easiest way to contact me. Yeah, I know that there's... Get to the Orange Door has... It's it's very active development right now. And there's actually another demo that's set to release. But it's not, like, widely available. Because you have to purchase it on Steam and they close the purchases. So I was just planning on doing the older one. 
Anyways, back to the story. Come. It's same with the orange door, by the way. I, I, I know a decent amount, but not enough that I can tell you what the game is. Once the rain men happens, a hero shall rise to collect the four hallowed pendants. I believe that hero to be you. Oh! Oh no! That can't be right! Not now. No, now, now. There shan't be any complaining. I am a professional quest giver. I know what I'm doing. That over there is the pendant holder of prophecy. It's like a dream catcher. Looks like a fish rack to me. Also a good answer. Don't be fooled by its appearance. Only one with incons incommensurable wisdom, such as myself, would be able to see past the pendant holder's trivial appearance. There's a fish on it. Ah, yes. The sacred fish of prophecy. A foul curse shall strike whoever fails to ignore it. Anyhow, your quest is clear. Just listen. First... You must collect the red pendant of holy bravery. Then, yellow pendant of holy valor. Then, is this like runescape? That lime pendant of holy agility. Then, the brown pendant of holy shit. <laughs> Cute. My whole life is a seizure. Just constant. I'm sorry, did I say I died? Survived, I mean. So if chapter 6 was death, then 7 is epilogue. The night fell from the yada yada. Phew! That was close! What the? A holy diver? Here? That's a great Dio song. Huh? Hey! How did you... <clears throat> Would you, Valiant Diver, please fill us in on what caused the Rain Omen? Surely you have the answers we seek. I remember everything. Down too long in the Midnight Sea. First there was this gorilla, or pendant, or nothing. That is interesting. You don't remember a thing, do you? Hmm. Very well. Then I see it falls upon me, the duty of giving you a quest. Ah. Uh. Yes. Your quest shall be a most sacred one. Excuse me. You are to repair the Spire's sacred elevator so that our companies may leave this accursed world and return to- Are we really going to brush off possible major brain injuries? Just like that? Silence. We don't have the time. First, you shall descend into the Spire's bedrock. Seek there a way to return the elevator to working order. Someone's gonna make a Minecraft joke in chat in three, two... Nobody. Alright, I'm impressed. I'm impressed by you guys. If you need any support, we will be here at the Spire's base. You're late. You guys are late. I am Edgelord. Edgard. Sage Knight of the Useless Company. And I am. Uh, that's not my name. Good luck and Godspeed, Diver. Hi, thanks for supporting Good Night Night's development. Here are a few useful pointers to help you survive. Good Night Night is a procedural dungeon crawler featuring stealth mechanics as well as deliberate combat and resource management. Your gear may include equipment, which can eventually be all equipped simultaneously, as well as versatile items and potions. Death is not permanent outside Iron Man mode. Ooh, we really are going RuneScape. And you get to keep what you find, but be sure to have the necessary resources to restock your gear and health, especially after dying. For the most recent updates and change logs, consider joining the Discord. Good night, night. I'm a All right. for Bowser's cock. Procedural dungeon crawler, resident sleeper. 
I'm right there with you, but again, it seemed interesting in development, so I'm more than willing to give it a chance. Thanks, bread. Breadcrumbs. Seems like Slay the Spire x Isaac. We'll find out, won't we? See, I feel like it probably would have had more, like, link... I, I, I was gonna say more Link to the Past inspiration, but I guess you could counterpoint by saying Binding of Isaac took inspiration from that, too. If these fountains run out of... run out, or our livestock dies, we're all doomed. So we have a diver with us, huh? Welcome to our camp. I'm the useless captain. An apt name? See, like, it's easy to rag on procedural generation, but on that note, like, I loved Binding of Isaac. I loved, well, I didn't love, but I liked Rogue Legacy. I think you can do it right. The question is, do they? Seems I've been stranded on this side of the room. Won't you keep me company for a while? How? It's simple. Just tap tap to target me, then press E to chat. That's it. To be honest, I don't fear this here hole. Not at all. You know what I'm really scared of. Bushes. I saw something hustling and bustling in them. Not sure what it is. Could you get rid of whatever it is for me? They're at the end of the corridor over there. Look for it carefully, and if in doubt, try targeting. Have you heard of the High Elves? Well, I got something. Will you upload if I sub? Probably won't have an effect, but... It'll, it'll keep me living under a roof, which will, in turn, make me upload. You did it? So I'm finally free! Free! Thanks a lot for your help! Here, you can have this! Catch! I was hoping that it would fall into the pit. That would have been a great joke. Found the startle socks. Slick pair of socks that greatly improve movement, but its thin material easily soggies up with sweat. Does anyone else feel uncomfortable with the word soggies? Speed increased when on cleared rooms. That's good enough. That That's enough of a gag. I'll take it. Um. Hmm? Hello, Diver. Have you come to climb the Spire too? Unfortunately, our quest ends here. After the tremors, the rift over there was formed, blocking our passage. Join me in meditation, and we may one day be enlightened enough to achieve the power of extremely brief levitation. You may have this unrelated piece of equipment. I have no use for material possessions anymore. Since when do I say any stupid shit? Found the jumping cape. Aerodynamic cape that increases jumping range. Yeah, I can see why he wouldn't have use for that anymore. Oops. Actually, do I need to equip it? Uh, yes. It auto-equips. That one was on me. There's a new demo for Orange Door going up right now. It's good timing, I guess. Weirdly, like, specific timing. But sure. It's like a baby skeleton. What is this, TF2 Halloween? There's your reference. No more references tonight. I'm going to presume that's a half-baked chicken. I think that was my middle name in high school. For a multitude of reasons. So you're really going to tell me that this takes more inspiration from Binding of Isaac than it does OG Zelda? I don't agree with that. Or 
probably should have read that. Why have a counter for something that doesn't exist? Fair point. I need to double check what that said. Because I didn't look. Oh. That works. Oh, okay. It, it affects... Whatever you call it. Platforms. Psst! Watch out! There's a dangerous monster up ahead. You could try hitting it from behind before it turns around. What? Why don't I do it myself? I'm not in that much of a hurry to reach the other side. No way. I can wait. His head looks like, uh... What's his name? All for one. Oh. It was just a reverse mimic. Clever creatures. Well, since you're the one who killed it, you can have the treasure it held. Just be careful. If you grab the equipment and it's too heavy, you may become overburdened. Come talk to me if you don't know what that means. Nah, I heard it a lot throughout my childhood, so I'm pretty familiar with the term. Found the grabbing gauntlets. Special gauntlets with small outward spikes that stick to the flesh. Allows grabbing of unaware enemies. I don't know if I'm comfortable doing that. Carrying an object, press E to release. Hold down control to lower it to ground height. Right mouse button to flip. Left mount button to throw. Okay. We source engine now, boys. You know, Source Engine, that game that invented picking things up with the E button. No. Load, do not. Knight, you seem awfully ill-equipped for the many dangerous, many dangers that lie past this point. It's time to start building your power deck. I'm going to give you your first card on the house. We can s was that a pun, house? We can sell you more cards after that, for a fair price. Go ahead. Oh, I'm picking my, my Pokemon. All right. There's a 999% plus on everything. But, there, but everything isn't speed. Fifteen ingredients. Why did you crumble it up? Load, one day you too will be able to create equipment. But it's not that easy. You shouldn't be trying to fool knights. And especially not that one. Act with honesty. Okay. Diver, I am Aima. It is true we can provide you with crucial equipment. But in return, we require a favor. You're to take this butchering portal and make good use of it. Tutorial level. Give it some credit, like... It's gonna have a tutorial level, like it or not. Press F to use items. See, Kaiva you monsters, they have a certain link to them. They are the best butchering candidates returned to us with any exotic... Okay. Not to brag, but one such as yourself wouldn't understand our secret dark ritual. Our potions are too strong for you, traveler. Fine, fuck you. Yeah, I did. I, I, I'll go grab the update to the orange door when I switch to it. I just. I was scouring it all day to where I could find the update, and it, I was just convinced that I couldn't play it. So I guess that worked for me. Thanks. Thank you. I don't think I ever interacted with the dog. Is that- oh. Oh no. Uh, 
Never gonna live that one down. Eat your herbs. Do I have herbs? I'm under the impression I don't have herbs. I have no... Nothing. to join the chat. Yeah, I, I, I saw the news about Elon Musk and the dead deer meme today, and I... I it's like... In, it's like a decent meme, but the fa like I feel like every time Elon Musk does everything, he just has an uncanny ability to make great reaction images. Because some of the, the faces he made during that... It's funnier than the meme itself. Alright, I just wanted to look around out here, but I don't think there's anything else. Are we past tutorial, Hogchamp? Or at least the first part of it? Past the you know, the good news is, after killing that dog and the game saved, that means I got an easy access save point on the corpse of that animal that I killed. Even though that was probably a joke. Dead deer meme question mark? Don't worry about it. I'm a fishing for Bowser's cock. Thanks, Guff. You know, the stamina potion helps, but it's not exactly what I need right now. Actually, how do I... There we go. Imagine you could save in real life by killing dogs. Oh, then Araki... He would have plenty of backups. I don't have any ranged weapons, so I kind of just have to eat it right now. Like that. I'm overburdened. That could be an issue. So do I have... I'm not sure what this... pink icon is, but I'm gonna assume I can use this for brewing. Uh. Okay. I think I'm good to, to leave. Every time you die, you just wake up in the middle of killing the last dog. Now that's an RPG I'd play. And would probably get pretty bad reviews. But I'd play it. Uh, excuse me? Killer Bush? Finishing Blow? Do I have a kill cam? Technically, I don't think Araki has killed a dog in his manga for like 20 years now. The problem is he killed them so often when he did that it's kind of hard to lose that reputation of killing dogs so often. You guys know why Araki killed dogs so often though, right? He said that uh, he needed a way to make the viewer immediately aware that somebody was unlikable and they wouldn't be like redeemable 
and he found that having them kill a dog was a really great way to make the viewer immediately like root against a person. So early on in his career, he would often write in villains killing dogs just because it was an easy tug at the heart. And I thought it was just weird. I thought it was funny, but kind of weird. Like that's the only thing he could think of. He couldn't think of any other way to make villains evil. Lazy writing. I think you could definitely attribute some of it to that. That said, it's it will always be a fresh meme. Nice. I mean, he has a point. If you saw somebody kill a dog, would your immediate thought not be, fuck that guy? Is this whole stream going to be talking about dead dogs? W let's find out. I just killed the monster. It's dance time, baby. Join me if you can. Keep up, old goober. Alright, I'm on board. I don't know what this icon is. Did I just... Oh, I'm, I'm about to vomit. What was that all about? I don't like those moves at all. Come on, get on the groove. It's good to know that you can... You know, true video games let you vomit. Oh, God. It's dripping out. Ew. Weak. Weak. I'm so weak. Guess I could shake some provisions out of monsters by parrying their attacks. Grass also sometimes has provisions. Maybe I'll look there. Thirsty, thirsty. I'm so thirsty. Guess I could shake some ingredients out of monsters by drowning them. Yikes. Bushes also have ingredients. Maybe I'll look there. I think I get the point. Oh, these checkpoints? Oh, that's clever. A purple sea. Okay. I think that might be near a waste dump. Uh, is there a place I can save at? Or does it just auto-save for me? The bed's probably it. Hungy. So hungy. I just got Undertale. Thanks for sharing, Yeeting Yet. Thanks for sharing. You're a little late to the party there, bud. Are you gonna watch the Oscars? Ask me when I'm 63. Nah. Was it the Oscars? Or some other thing that's cutting the cinematography and editing category. I want to say that was the Oscars, right? Because if so, I'm especially not watching it. That made me mad. Have you thought of playing DMC5 demo? Well, I haven't played 4 yet, so I'm not going to jump the gun like that. And even then... Uh, I'd probably just rather play the full game. It was the Oscars. They got it back, did they? They gave it back to those categories. For those that don't know, initially... Or not initially, but a few weeks back, the Oscars announced that they weren't going to be broadcasting the cinematography and editing categories. And they would be done during, like, a commercial break. Which, for an entire ceremony about, you know, movies, you'd figure two of the most important parts of movie making would shouldn't be cut. 
No. I will be boycotting the Oscars, just like I did last year and the year before that. Although I wouldn't really call it boycotting as much as not watching because I don't care in the first place. Play Anthem? No. See, when Anthem was first announced, I think I, I streamed when it was first announced, and I, I said on that stream, like, that looks like it's fun, and that's exactly why I'm not going to play it. And spe more specifically, I refuse to pre-order it. Because I know how this works. I've been around long enough. What happens is those games release, and they're not as good as they looked. And then I feel like I wasted my money. So, on Anthem, I held my wallet, and it seems like the reviews are coming in, and people are less than happy with it. And I'm not someone that puts all of my stock into what the reviews say. I'm willing to give it some leeway based on what I see. But what I saw, I really wasn't that interested in. The the, the flight thing seemed fun. Like, I, I like any sort of high mobility game, but it, it just didn't seem like there was any form of incentive. Plus, I'm sure we've all heard about the loading screens, you know. So, I don't plan on it. If the game gets updates big enough that I'm like, hey, alright, they, they kind of did it right. Then, you know, I'll, I'll, I'd be open to buying it. I'm not so against EA that I refuse to buy it even if it's a good game. I, it just doesn't seem like up to the par that I would like right now. It's a real bad slug. Well, there you go. No, I've been playing Smashing Tetris in my free time. No anthem needed. Tetris online is surprisingly pretty fun. I'm, I don't know how much I, I like the combat mechanic in Tetris. There, there have been some... See, the problem with Tetris when I've been playing it is there are some matches where fucking 13 seconds will pass and you'll get 10 stacks of gray blocks on you for, and you can't do anything about it. Like, you're not getting parts fast enough to fight it. And those games are the worst. But conversely, when you have a, like a well-paced game where you're not getting attacked by five people, it's fun. So I put a lot of time into that. Yeah, I did see the props. They were looking cool. I meant to send you a message on it, but I went to bed and forgot. But well done. There's a purple door I missed, right? Play Titanfall 2. What's my sub count at? At 500 Twitch subs, I'll play Titanfall 2. Now stop asking. You can keep asking, but... That'll help. You want it so bad, you're gonna have to work for it. Or you can just wait until I feel like playing it. I'll, I'll probably just end up playing it one day. Hmm. I think I have to go back south. Hello? Round about the cauldron go, into it the mix you throw. To receive a brand new stew, a red potion you must now brew. Once one tiger pounce, this is the mirth I announce. Lady Eralia protects us all. She shall help you through your crawl. In her brewing we assist, if our wish is to persist. Yeah, I, I didn't gather much information from that. Thrice, thrice, frog and mice, listen here to my advice. When a potion you shall quaff, drink it all back to back. Small sips may give a taste. But in the end, they're just a waste. Double, double, toil and trouble. 
Okay. These recipes make me stumble. If colors are hard to you, there is something else to do. Come talk to me again. From brewing, you shall abstain. Oh, again. Okay. Different enunciation. I'm not sure how I pick up the water and, and bring it over here. Quadruple, quadruple, bowl of noodle. It is such a tasty foodle. That's not a word. Lady Aralia makes us rhyme. I just think it's a waste of time. Uh, don't tell her I said that. I'm doing my best, and that's that. That's, that's not, okay. How do I get this liquid to here? I guess I just gotta move through, right? Oh, I meant to try this. No. Well, I'm out then. Later, brick boy. Any videos in the works? I got like three essay type videos I'm working on the main channel. The next one probably won't be out this week, though I would have liked it to be. But between February being the shortest month, and my computer being decommissioned for a week. Uh, I, I'm going to need another week to work on it. But yeah, I got a lot I'm working on. Plus, there should be a funk study up, like, tomorrow evening. We have a diver with us, huh? Okay. Nothing new from him. What is this all about? I don't plan on sleeping with the night, no, Sealjer. Uh, I mean, I'm liking this game so far, but I feel like it's sort of lacking something that makes it its own, you know? Like, right now, I'm not seeing anything I couldn't particularly get from any other similar game. It's competent. And I haven't found that... That big mechanic that makes it its owner. Whatever it is. Damn, the chickens do work. It's locking a grapple hook in the source engine. I agree with that, but... I, I can forgive that much. I was indifferent to the Teal album. What you need to understand is right now, Weezer, well, they've always been, but right now especially, they're going through an identity crisis where they're kind of trying to pick up a different audience that's far removed from their existing one. And that's their choice. That's fine. But I'm definitely not really a part of that audience they're looking for right now. Fuck. How long? I don't know, however long I want to stream. Kind of late for a working class EU boy stream, but I love this stuff. I feel that, man. See, I would, l I mean, I say this often, but I enjoy doing earlier streams. The problem is I wake up at like 1 p.m. some days. So, I'm like fighting against my body when I want to do early streams. I feel like I've seen a similar game. I mean, there's not a specific, I mean, do you mean visually? Because I mean, I guess visually it kind of reminds me of like a nuclear throne or something. If a, a bit slower. But that kind of feeds into what I was saying. It's fun, but I don't really see what makes it unique right now. You should review shows. Like, show reviews? I mean... I kind of have, like, pretty much... 
half of the funk studies on my main channel were shows like the Bill Nye one. Uh, the high score girl was pretty much what you're asking for. There are a couple shows I'd like to talk about. So, I mean, you can expect it. I just... I'm a very, like, hot potato kind of guy when it comes to working on content. My, my, it, like, my focus will just jump across the room constantly. I'll go from, like, oh, I want to make this, you know, I want to make, like, a funk TV. And then it'll be, like, oh, I just want to make, like, three funk studies. Then it'll be, like, I want to make a review, you know. Shit. So it'll happen, but erratically. I'm sure that there are items meant for healing that I can find, but they're visible to me. I'm not seeing them. Ever plan to do funk studies on older shows you watched years ago? Yeah, there are a couple shows that I watched a while back that I wanted to do. Ma I mean, that's kind of what the Class of 3000 video was. Initially, I was planning on that video to be on the main channel. Because I was coming up with it back when I was still doing funk studies there. But I shelved it for a while. So, yeah. There'll be stream highlights. I'm just not like... Here's the thing you need to understand. I don't like playing the YouTube game. I'm tired of trying to get everything over 10 minutes, uploading once every day. So I'm not going to force out stream highlights if it's like, well, I want to spend this time doing something else. Or I don't think the highlights will be at the same level as a funk study or something. That's all. I like that you get a killing blow. On what I assume is like the last enemy in the room. Basically, old school Legend of Zelda. That's what I've been saying. It's not a bad thing, it's a good thing. I also, I want to avoid, like... Like, playing indie type games, I know as a developer it can kind of be... frustrating when someone plays it and they're like, Oh, this is like a different game. Because you want it to be your own game. But I can definitely see the inspiration. I feel like... See, someone made a joke about this game needs to be on the Source Engine and have a grappling hook. I feel like a grappling hook would be fun, though. Might even have one. Find out. Something to close the gap, is all. I feel like there's not much, like, great loot in every room, too. Like, a lot of these rooms are just enemies... ...and berries. And maybe that's because, like, I need to bust these? Like, I can respect when I'm playing the game wrong. But I'm trying to look out for stuff, and I'm just not finding anything. I've not played Gungeon. Speaking of loot... Found the Fallen Adventurer's Diary. Full of notes on the horrors faced by a failed excursion. Here to make readers fear for their lives. Missing health becomes extra stamina. Oh, okay. I'll take that. It's a cool upgrade. You hate tank controls? You mean like literal tank controls? No. I'm open to tank control games. I'm not that into slow games, so I guess you could discredit tank controls for that. But I'm fine with like a game centered around it. While curse is active, deal extra damage, receive much greater damage. Experience multiplier rises faster. Well, at least I'm getting some loot 
more constantly now. I really need to heal, though. Do any of these... Yeah, I don't have anything to heal with. I assume I have to, like, get ingredients to make a potion. Which is what those are. Actually, you know what? I could just go to the surf... Oh, fuck. Well, I guess I can go to the surface early. I was... Not today, bitch. I was thinking out loud that... I have a decent amount stocked up now, right? Meal. Oh, that means I lost some. I don't have enough to afford fare. I guess I gotta go get more. Because to get a meal... What is paltry? Okay. I'm not as popular of a streamer as I am a big, a big dick YouTuber. Don't fret, stream views. I don't know what this icon is. Like, I can see what the main mechanic of the game is the light source. But... I'm, I'm curious if there's, like, extensions on the light or something. So, like, ab abilities I can add. Because right now, it doesn't seem that impactful. Like, you could get rid of the light gimmick and it wouldn't be that different of a game, you know? It doesn't change fundamentally how it's played. It just means I gotta look at enemies to see them. And right now, it's not like enemies spawn that constantly anyways. Someone will mod it out. It's in development, so it's not like... Never gonna change. I think a update's coming out in like two days, actually. I have to keep my eye on that. Seems like a gimmick fit for a horror game. It almost seems like a cop-out. But you are right. I feel like lighting source mechanic in a horror game is almost too, too cliche. But I see where you're coming from. How do you choose which indie games to play? It's just whatever looks intriguing to me. I just keep my eye on a lot of like, you know, I guess news sources that talk about indie games, like just random niche subreddits and itch.io and all that. Just places you can find cool looking little games. There's not a system for me picking, it's just if I want to play it. Hipster? I mean, you're watching me stream it, so... Not free of sin. What is that? I think I like went into it too early. Or is that a curse? I can't stream to YouTube because of Twitch's partner policy. They updated it so you can't stream to both. So I have to turn it off at the beginning of the stream. Fire damage. Okay. I didn't know there was fire damage. And I don't know what the stop, drop, and roll button is. Okay.
the notes in this song are the same notes from Stronger Than You. Almost. It's the same key. You know, that famous Undertale song, Stronger Than You. What's your opinion on the future of YouTube or the golden days, gold, golden days, oops, gone, and everything is going to hell? I was talking to Michael, and I had an interesting revelation. Uh, when I first started consistently streaming on YouTube, the first adpocalypse happened. And a month after I started, like, a, a Patreon for my main channel, the next adpocalypse happened. So I'm curious if maybe I had something to do with the death of YouTube. It seems like, you know, causation correlation, I'm just saying. Michael's just my buddy. Uh, as for your actual question, I don't think it's... So, here's the thing. I know in, in YouTube's, they're in a shitty position, and you can't really fully blame them. For what's happening right now i mean you can blame them but the the, the steps that they're taking i think random chant as long as it's short term it's not as big of a deal i just think it's sad that it got to this point at all i guess i think it's telling that youtube is probably going to just be under more and more fire throughout the year like this is probably the first like, this isn't the last big thing that's going to happen this year. We're going to have to deal with a lot of garbage. And I think you're going to see a lot more creators move to different platforms, unfortunately. And here's the thing. I never moved to Twitch because YouTube was, like, too volatile. I just wanted to Twitch stream. But now it's almost kind of a necessity. Like... If I drop my Twitch right now, then focusing just on YouTube for income would be a death sentence. So, I think in a best case scenario, we're not going to find a... No one's going to take down YouTube, you know? There's not going to be a competitor that kills him out. I think maybe best case scenario, some laws get instated. That make YouTube easier to govern and copyright holders have less free roaming. But that's unlikely. Certainly unlikely within the next few years. Uh, I would I would hope that maybe Twitch somehow finds itself in a position. But Twitch has its own share of I don't it's just a bad it's the bad scene all around. Shit's fucked. Shit's fucked is, uh, my takeaway. Like my back being stabbed by a bush, YouTube is fucked. Put your videos on the Epic Games Store. I will shelf that idea and get back to you. Is uploading videos on Twitch ever going to be worth it? I don't think so. I think YouTube has too much raw number. To ever warrant it. You might see people upload to both. And then you'll probably see Twitch instate a policy where they're like, you can't repost videos on a YouTube, and everyone's gonna be like, fuck you. That's my guess at what'll happen. You know what Mixer and Daily Motion, or not Mixer, you know what Daily Motion and Vimeo are good for? Watching episodes of your favorite anime the day they came out. Other than that, probably doesn't pose too much competition. If you disagree with me, feel free to speak up. Something tells me nobody does. For 
addicted. Fuck. This is a bop. Do I need something to open this? I can't tell if this is a chest to be opened or if it's a platform that something used to be on. I'm guessing I've already been here. Also, KH3 leaks. Yeah, that too. Nope. Was that skeleton crying? It was running away from me and crying. Alright. My kind of game. Uh, again, I'm not certain how long this demo is. I guess since it's procedurally generated, it's theoretically never-ending. Uh, so I guess I'll probably play like two hours or so before I go check out Orange Door. I can't tell, like, relatively speaking, how far into the dungeon I am. I would wager B8 is, like, still early game. I don't know if there's like a final floor or anything. I need to use these items more. Is this the game Notch tweeted about? That's a good question. I have no clue. Don't follow Notch. Goes as far as the first 10 floors. Oh, if that's the case, then I'm getting close. Doom Eternal is the game I'm most hyped for right now. Damn, I'm short of the fair. How do I make it? I just click on it? I don't know how to actually, like, make it. Is, like, can I pick it up? Okay. Thanks, one Steve. You know, I heard the uh, the Isabel don't stop me now. Have you tried controller? That's a good question. I think I have a USB GameCube controller lying around. But it's not plugged in. And I'd have to... I don't think... I feel like that's irrelevant to what I was trying to figure out, though. Whenever I finish the demo, Green... Yeah, I don't- oh, okay, whatever. Full health after that. Yeah, the new sub-icons are just a little more uniform, I feel. How is this hat Canadian? It's a Yushenka. It's a Russian hat. And I'm wearing it backwards. So that's Australian. Alright. Does this do damage? No. I'm a fishing for Bowser's cock. Thanks, guy. I don't know what that is. Will you stream tomorrow? Good question. Uh, undecided.
probably a guess. What's better, Blaze Blue or DBZ Fighters? I'll have enough experience with Blaze Blue to make an educated guess on that. I've seen a lot of people say that DBZ Fighters is a bit more sterile than Blaze Blue. And I mean, I could I could see that, I guess. I don't know how how different every character is in Blaze Blue. You have to also understand Blaze Blue is an ongoing series, so they've had more time to develop their cast. So I guess if you're going off of like like diversity in gameplay, Blaze Blue probably wins. But if you're going off presentation, seems like Fighter Z just has way more budget. For those that don't know, Blaze Blue is by the same developers of Fighter Z. It's, it's a a precursor in a sense, another fighting game. Although the initial ones were 2D, I believe. And then I think they jumped to 3D later. Favorite DS game? Toronto Life. Or maybe... Hmm... Toronto Life wasn't even that good of a game. I just liked... Drawing. That's a good question. I feel like naming a Pokemon game would be a cop-out answer. Are we counting... 3DS. Do you mean old school? Because if we're counting any DS title, then Omega or Alpha Sapphire was my favorite. But I feel like that's a cheating answer just because I, you know, technically that's a remake. But definitely sunk the most hours into that. Found the haunting cloak. So fragile, so slow. Why would anyone wear this? Hold tab to access while hovering over an item assign. Press F. But what does it do? Find out. Do you have sleep paralysis stories or experiences? Oh, I think I get sleep paralysis at least once every three months. It's pretty, like common occurrence for me but i i take that as a trade-off because lucid dreaming is also a frequent occurrence so i feel like i have to take the good with the bad i usually get sleep paralysis if i'm sleeping a place that isn't my bed if i'm sleeping on a couch or at someone else's house that's usually where it happens i don't know if that's like a subconscious thing but i don't know i a lot of people, for those that don't know, sleep paralysis is when you're like, you open your eyes and you can't move, but you're clearly awake, but your body doesn't realize it. A lot of people attribute stories of that with like, they feel like really paranoid and it feels like there's like a demon sitting on their chest. It gets really weird, some of the stories you hear. But I don't have those experiences. I'm just, you know, I just, I just can't move and it's freaky. Like, I can open my eyes and blink, but I can't do anything else. I don't have, like, the weird chest pressure or anything. I don't freak out much. I usually just, like... Ah, shit, it's this again. Alright. And I'll just close my eyes until I fall asleep again. I guess I just got used to it. When it first was happening, it freaked me out. Now it's like a minor inconvenience. No, it's not a lucid dream. It's because you're actually awake. You're consciously aware of what's happening around you. It's just, I think you're... I don't know what part of your body, like your, your nervous system or whatever. It's still, it's basically in, you know, s sleep mode. You can't move. Any games you enjoy watching at high-level play? 
High level Rocket League is insane. So, like I could, I liked playing Rocket League, but I could never do aerials. And seeing some people do that, it's wild. I'll occasionally, I don't know, I feel like this is more of a guilty pleasure, but I'll watch some Overwatch League time to time. Mostly because I can like, complain about it. I, I get I get to be like my dad where he's watching sports and he's like, why did you do that? They were, you, they were wide open. I can do that even though I know that I would choke and never be able to pull off what they do. I get to watch them and be like, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you ulting there? You just wasted. You're not even swapping heroes. I can understand. I just can't comprehend, you know? Overwatch League is the King Crimson of esports. I'm sorry, Emperor Crimson. I feel like being on what, floor nine now? The, the, the floors haven't been very different. They've all been like the same. And to be fair, it's still uh, in development, but I don't know. I was kind of hoping for a bit more change. Can't grab it. I can't go too in detail on that fib because it's spoiler territory, but I can say I think they did it justice. They actually improved on the manga a bit. Visually, the manga... Yeah, I, I, I can't really talk about much. The reveal was good. A locked door? First I've seen that. Am I at a dead end? Oh, here we go. When's that OSRS stream? Whenever I'm bored enough to do it. Whenever I'm desperate enough to do it. Shit. I was paying attention to this dude and not the surroundings around me. Any plans for your birthday? Not really. Turning 22. It's pretty... What do you do with that? You made it through 21. Good job. I don't know. Probably just like play Smash with my roommate. I need a eat cake or something. Honestly, I'll probably stream on it. Old Boomer? I'm a young Zoomer. Or no, old Zoomer. Young Millennial. I never said it'd be a drunk stream. It's 22. I've been drunk before. It's not a big. It's not a big occurrence that needs to be documented. Who are these dudes? Uh oh.
What's Soundsmith's opinion on 22? It's the to me it doesn't seem like it screen's extremely insignificant. I mean, don't get me wrong. I feel like I've done plenty of maturation. Is that the word? Some some plenty of maturing over the year, but I don't know about a cause for celebration. Door near. Door near. I feel like I started drinking for the taste, not the effect. I don't I don't know what happened, but like I don't even feel an effect. And I don't even drink. Like, the one drink I'll have, like, every month and a half? Nothing. Maybe that's just the, the Irish in me, though. You're not a fresh adult, not a newborn into full freedom? What? You're an adult at 22. I mean, yeah, you're not, like, wise. You're definitely pretty stupid, but... You're, you're... I guess you mean, like, you're... You're not a new adult anymore. But, I mean, you can be 22 and free. It's unlikely, in this economy, but, again, nothing crazy. Well, I'm under the impression this is the last layer of the demo, so if I can make it through this, I don't know what comes after it. You're not 21 anymore. I don't know what you mean by we have differing opinions then, because that's exactly what I said. Shit. I don't feel like I've found anything substantial out of these 10 floors. I got like the one thing that made my... Uh, my lost health into stamina. But that's it. Did I get to floor 10 and not save? Oh no, okay, this is floor 10. I don't think Skull Girls will ever resurge. I don't know what to do when that happens. I could see Skull Girls getting a sequel that gets good attention. Maybe not ever like mainstream, but Skull Girls is. It has enough market presence without being huge that it could definitely still cut back into mainstream somehow. Just probably not through an update. You know, I was saying earlier that I would like a grapple, but I think this pot basically is a grapple. And just like a grapple mechanic, I fuck it up. It's just limited is all. And I'm not sure how rare they are. I don't know if I'd call fighting games niche. I'd say they have a niche demographic. But when you say a game is niche, you mean usually that implies that like few people know about it or even care. Fighting games have a big community. It's I guess you could call it niche in that it's you're either in the community or you're not You know, you might not play overwatch, but you probably know what's going on in it So I wouldn't call that niche whereas fighter Z or even smash You probably only know what's going on if you're paying attention
unban me from the server, please? What do you mean, Minecraft or the Discord? Read the FAQ. If you get banned, then DM me. More into fighters than Street Fighter, but that's out of preference. Not for any particular reason. That's how I feel about Pathfinder. I either screw it up or I go flying 87 miles into the fray. I have difficulty playing Pathfinder because I don't know how far my grapple hook goes. I can't get a good read on what I can and can't grapple in the distance. I have pretty shitty depth perception in the first place, but there's something about Apex Legends Pathfinder where I just... It's too frustrating trying to grapple places and you're like, oh, I can't fucking do it. What's considered nerdy to you? It depends on what your definition of nerdy is. Like, if you just mean general geek culture. If you play video games as a primary hobby and not just, like, there's one or two games that you play. Like, you actively seek out new games, that's kind of nerdy. If you watch more than one anime, that's kind of nerdy. Basically, if you derive pleasure from multiple nerdy outlets of media. But like, the term nerdy has lost any meaning in modern day. Like, what is it? What does it even matter if you call something nerdy or not? It's not 1997 where you're gonna get shoved in a locker for playing Halo. Or the modern equivalent, Fortnite. Liking Star Wars isn't nerdy, but col I think, like, if you've ever gone on a forum and argued about Star Wars, that's nerdy. You know, like, that's the line. If you've ever argued for or against a fan theory in Star Wars, then you're a nerd. It's not even a bad thing, just objectively speaking. Health sources are more plentiful than I'm led to believe, then I'd really like to find them more often. I still don't understand how the... The cooking station works. I sat at it for three minutes and I couldn't figure it out. And I'm sure that's partially me being an idiot, but... Still... What do you think of this game? Worth getting? Uh, I think it's worth keeping your eye on. Right now, I'm not... You know, I feel like I'd rather just go play Nuclear Throne than go through a second playthrough of this. To put it into perspective. Like, I'm just not seeing the draw. And that's being, like, open. If you're gonna be especially critical of it... Uh, I, I don't know, I feel like it really needs... 
it doesn't even need like a big mechanic to make it stand out. It just needs a bit more going on. Like right now in its current state. Like if you can just pick up a... I can't recall if the demo is available free. If it's available free, I'd say yeah, pick it up. Uh, I, I donated to it to pick it up just because I wanted to support it. But again, I, I think the game needs maybe a bit like a bit more variety is all. If it's not going to have like some impactful gameplay mechanic, it, it just needs a bit more variety than what it has to offer right now. Like, I know it's limited to 10 floors as it is, but these 10 floors have been pretty samey, pretty samey. Even, like, all of the enemies and all that, they reuse the same, like, four enemies. And again, yeah, it's early access, so... I understand why. I just hope to see that change with time. After Hollow Knight, every game will fall flat. That's kind of an elitist perception, wouldn't you say? I mean, these games aren't even this they aren't even going for the same type of gameplay. I heard of Vampire. It had a Y in its name, and that's why it caught my interest, but it seemed pretty bland, so I never picked it up. Maybe not bland, but not my taste. I'm not sure what turning this does. I can turn it. it doesn't really have an effect. Still no clue what these rooms are for. I don't know who that is, Fleury. I'm excited for the Animal Crossing Switch game. Uh-oh. Uh, I mean, are there any other big announcements? There's obviously the Pokemon RPG coming out. Which I'm a little worried. It's supposed to be coming out this year, right? But we haven't heard anything about that. And we've known about that for like... At least a year and a half. Like, if that's coming out this year... Then we need to hear something within the next, like, four months. Not even. Next two to three. <sighs> to be fair, I'm not using my pot to jump at enemies, but, like, I don't know what to fucking do about this health. Like, look, I have 250. So I can make items, right? So how do I do it? Clicking on it does nothing. Do I need more ingredients? So I gotta click on that? 
It won't pick it up. I don't understand. I feel like they're doing minimalist with the menus, but it's just confusing. Hitting OK does nothing. You need to sleep? That's odd. Oh, okay. You are right. I think I've been on floor 10 for 10 minutes now. So that's kind of confusing to me. So you can make health items, but you can't bring them into the dungeon. You can, o you can only make them while you're at camp. So what happens when I'm here and I'm low health? Am I just fucked? Because I lose all my health, like, instantly. You die. That doesn't seem very fun. Especially when I have to start from the beginning every time. If you're gonna get a Jackbox pack, I think three was my favorite, and five is probably the second favorite. Four is alright, but there's only really like one game that I liked. Same with the first two. I don't even know what these curses do, so whatever. Turn them all on, I guess. So this should max out everything, right? Why didn't you use shield more? Because I don't think. Also because I had already lost half my health and I decided I'd rather just restart than go through it that low. Did I ever read the sub message about playing SCP games? I don't think I... I think I missed that one. SCP games. I've gotten a couple of recommendations for those. But it almost seems... I don't know, I guess it'd be up my alley. I have to look into it. Funk study on FLCL? I feel like there's enough videos on YouTube covering that. It's not really necessary. Plus, I'm not... I haven't, I haven't caught up on whatever the new FLCL progressive... I haven't seen all of that. So I couldn't really follow up. If I finish it and I find a reason to, yeah, it could happen. Why does have it? Why does an insect have a human skull inside of it? Insects don't have skulls. I don't even think they have a limbic system. Or skeletal system. At least not like physic not like bones.
can't DM me. I'll have uh, my settings might be up. Uh, just try again later tonight. I'll have to update it. I think I have it set to like you have to share a server with me. Watch alternative if I'm going to watch any. Will do. Honestly, I just, I'm kind of done with this. I just want to finish this floor. But I keep getting set back and it's annoying. Like, that's probably not a good sign when you're playing a game and you just want it to be over. Fucking hell. Okay. I don't know if I would put it on Fallout 4 level. But I can see where you're coming from. I'm gonna try one more time. And if I die, then I'm just gonna move on. I agree that racing games are underdone. I'm I'm still kind of pissed at Mario Kart for killing F Zero. I guess I'm pissed at Nintendo, but we know it's Mario Kart. I can't tell if the shield system is based off of your stamina either. I'm gonna assume it's not. I've been like avoiding using it for that reason, but I think that's a bad reason. I can just rush through the rooms. I think the soundtrack is good, it's just not like long lasting. You know. It doesn't have the energy to maintain you for long amounts of time. Especially when every floor is pretty similar. Oh no, the door is locked. I gotta finish. I don't even know what that does. did it. The question is, does it continue past floor 10? Or have I been lied to? Seems like it. I don't... Yeah, I don't really want to keep going, honestly. Like, 
I feel like I've seen everything the game has to offer, and that's the problem. Like, I get that it's a demo, and it's not fully backed up with content, but... You know, there's clearly nothing more to see here. Yeah, it just feels slow. Like, if I'm gonna play a, a game pseudo-inspired by old Zelda, I'd almost rather play something more fast-paced, like, you know, Binding of Isaac or Nuclear Throne. I liked it, I just... I feel like there needs to be more. Like, that was... It, it got really slow. Once you get past the fifth floor, and you're, you've kind of seen everything. I'm definitely going to keep my eye on it for future updates. I think it gets another in like two days. That was good night night for those curious. But I'm going to go... I need to go figure out. Apparently, a new demo was released for the orange door in the middle of my stream. So I'm going to have to go, like, find that. Uh, I'm going to BRB, play a song, and hopefully be back with that. I'm back. Uh, luckily, it just auto-queued my, my Steam to download it, so I should have the up-to-date copy as it is. Like, like I said, it just updated in the middle of me streaming, so I guess I worked out. Because I was under the impression it wouldn't- it would be like two days before this was- I was under the impression it would be like two days. That is still loud. A little loud. This has like a weird level, like it's still really loud even when I turn it low. So you're gonna have to let me know in chat. Oh shit, 140 FOV? <sighs> Let's stick with 120 for now. Are we good? Yeah, you need to get to the orange door. Is the... What you have to do with this one, but hold up. I gotta get my gamer settings all up. This is a shooter, by the way. And sensitivity is extremely important. It's quiet. How about now? I'm gonna pull out one ear. How about now? We good? Oh, that's too low. This works for me. So this was another... Just game that's in development that looked cool to me. I believe this one takes a lot of... I mean, I don't know for certain, but I saw the developer mentioning Titanfall 2 a fair bit amount in some form of inspiration. So I'm led to believe that this is a heavily movement-inspired game. We'll find that out in time. I think I'm doing this backwards, but... Yeah, I see it so far. I'm not sure what any of the other inspirations are for, but if you've seen my video, then you probably, you, you, you get the gist. You know what kind of game you're looking at. The air control is tight. You have pretty good control over the air. Press default E to open chests. Or to melee. You to use equipment. Okay. Get the gun. That's what I'm looking for. Don't exactly tell me where it is. I see plenty of health though. Hi, Funk, thanks for rushing me to update the demo. <laughs> is, is that real? <laughs> is there a dev in chat? I feel like the Matrix is break. Okay, I'm just gonna keep playing. Outstanding. 
I thought it was just like... And thanks, you, the player, for playing our demo. You know what? You're right. I think the gun is worth having now. I can't grab it. It's just sitting there. I grabbed it. It was F. All right, I'm invested now. What would you call this the visual style of this? Would this constitute Vaporwave is too much of like a buzzword, but I feel like there's something that would describe this. All right. I think my baby steps are over. I'm starting to get the feel of it. Oh yeah, I'm liking this so far. I'm not sure what the limitation is on your actual ability to wall climb, but it seems like pretty open-ended. Like, you can just keep doing it. can wall run forever. Alright, I'm on board. Yeah, I was following the, the subreddit for this on updates. I think it's like T-T-T-O-D. Uh, and there's like a lot of just minor mechanics that that build towards the, the movement, I suppose, on this. Which is like the main thing that drawed me in, because you know me. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just like an open-ended run around. It is a demo, obviously, so... It's to be expected, but... I'm curious what's around here. Also, I think this is still like relatively early development, too. But if this is what they have to show right now, I'm on board. Alright. I think I've had my fun around here. Hello. <laughs> Minor clipping. Oh shit. I'm a sucker for the, the, the spinny dodge traps. I'm still of the opinion that someone needs to make a dropper type game. Like Minecraft dropper as its own game. But knowing my taste, it'll never happen. miss the other guns a Jedi does not miss or hit he simply never misses huh Asking me about the uh, gun? I believed you, chat. I see nothing. 
Can't do that to a man. I mean, you can, it's just slightly unethical. No, tab is just like super hot mode. That's. Oh, I like that you, like, uh, by default start wall riding if you jump at a wall. You don't have to specifically input for it. I probably don't need to re-clarify this multiple times, but I will for the sake of. I've not played Titanfall 2, which every day I'm just learning that every fucking video game I've ever enjoyed takes inspiration from Titanfall 2, so that's on me. But if there's anything that, like, inherently comes natural to that game that I don't realize, that's why. Now, I... Uh, assuming I'm remembering correctly, there are a multitude of weapons that you can dual wield in... a large variety of c combinations. So I believe you when you say I missed one. This game is vibrant, man. It's very vibrant. And in my defense, it's easy to get caught up looking at the pretty lights and forget the objects. Every game is just Titanfall 2. Even Titanfall 2. Even Titanfall 1. When you think about it, this is kind of what I was saying. It's like a dropper, but sideways instead of down. I just want everyone to know that I saw this in the distance and I thought it was the Weezer logo. Just like super briefly. You know, like when you see a smiley face in the, the wall of the bathroom because your brain is, you know, it's just weird and it sees faces and stuff? Uh, my fa- my brain has gotten to the point it does that with Weezer. I just see Weezer and everything. Or should I say Wonder Woman? Fuck it. Funk with a beard is just funk without a beard with a beard. Okay. There's still some there. I just... I went from 3mm to... Or from 7 to 3. Because I'll be honest. There's not much of a difference. <laughs> For me. <laughs> it doesn't really grow that much further than 3 millimeters. But that's what I've learned. I feel like the thing about the new Weezer music video is it's tailing off of what Buddy Holly did, right? With, where they were in the, uh, the, the Happy Days set. It seems all- it- it, it seems weird because it's like- it, it clashes with the demographic of Weezer, you know? The demographic of Weezer, it- they want it to be younger people, right? Like, in their- their, you know, teens to mid-late 20s. Then it's, you know, they use all of these sets that you wouldn't know unless you're an old millennial, which is, you know, the old Weezer demographic. It's just, it's like clashing, I feel like. But I guess that also gives it a level of charm. Because it's old enough, some people are nostalgic, but it's also old enough that it's not new. I don't know. Weird. Weird.
Does it say dead? In text? That's nice. Yeah, I feel like the weirdest thing, and that, like, the average Weezer fan probably won't know this, but someone that has done an embarrassing amount of research into their discography can tell you that uh, in the 90s, Rivers Cuomo hated the idea of Weezer being a gimmick band. He literally, like, ref when they made the Sweater Song music video, you know, Undone, the one where they're in the blue room with the dogs... Uh, he refused, he shut down 50 directors because they all wanted to have a sweater incorporated into the music video. And Rivers thought that would be too gimmicky, so he shut down 50 of them and then took Spike Jones because he agreed to not have a single sweater in it. He also, I believe, heavily fought against, whoops, wearing the, the thick frame glasses in a lot of stuff. Because he didn't want to be a gimmick where it's like, Oh, Rivers! Back at it again with the Ray-Bans. He didn't want to be that guy. He was like that all over. Same with, like, Pinkerton, where, you know, he wanted to be taken seriously. So I guess the most interesting thing about the Black Album is you can tell that he's totally past that point now. I mean, he's been past it for a while. If you look at the White Album, you know, he's making all the Ray-Ban jokes. But it's, it's an interesting dissonance, I suppose, in logic. Which I'm fine with. I don't think there's anything wrong with, you know, hamming it up for the memes. I'm more interested in whether or not I like the music, you know. Whether or not the music video has a meme in it. Sort of the least of my worries. What about the Take On Me music video? See... Here's the thing. I want to give credit. It's a cool music video, and you can de you can tell some heart was put into it. But at the end of the day, I still feel like it was pandering. I feel like the whole Teal album thing was a little pandery for my taste. It was all about, remember the 80s? I remember the 80s. Do you remember the 80s? Chat, do you guys remember the 80s? Probably not, since most of you were born in 2002. I don't remember the 80s. But the Teal album and Take On Me were very hammy. Which again, isn't a bad thing. You sound old. Better than sounding young. Actually, no. My job is on the line for this. I'm getting some, some very distant cluster truck vibes from this. Not major, but there's some there. In a good way. Definitely need to use my abilities more often. Okay, that's kind of eerie. Opinion on the movement in Cluster Truck? I don't feel like it's really worth trying to dissect the movement of Cluster Truck. It was pretty acceptable for what it was. It didn't feel too clunky, although there were times playing Cluster Truck where I, I don't know, the air strafing felt a little off. But I couldn't really articulate what was off about it is the issue. Like, there was air strafing. I, I don't know, it, it, it just, it didn't feel like I really, I don't know, There's there wasn't too much impact on the landings. But it was good, it was fine. It was Cluster Truck. It's not like anybody was asking for Titanfall 2 movement.
Oh man, I gotta lead these shots. You believe the Mega Man Zero games on GBA are the best Mega Man games? Well, obviously, Mega Man X is a fucking joke. Why would you even ask that? I'm not seeing, like, much discrepancy between the design of these levels. I'm, I mean, I assume I'm just looping. Can I, like, climb to the top? What's that? It's a different area. I'm looking for more gun. Pause, restart, grab more than one gun. G to dual wield. Have fun. I think it's a good call. I can't make that. Uh, I'm gonna go try the dual wielding then. Ooh, pretty. Wow, oh, that's why I missed it. I haven't seen many, like, chests lying around. Am I looking for, like, the pistols in this area? Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, I see. I follow. And what was it to do real G? Okay. Alright. Fuck. I didn't mean to do that. I'm going back. I want a dual wield pistol and whatever the hell this is. What I liked about a, a totally different game, unrelated, uh, ne Necropolis was the name. It was like a procedurally generated like Dark Souls type RPG, I suppose. It wasn't as cool as it sounds, but what was cool was it had open ceilings. And if you could find a way to parkour to the top of it, then you could actually just walk on top of the levels and then drop down into different parts of it. And I, I, I keep like trying to do that in this game. I think you actually can. Or at least there are like different areas. Like I see that up there. But the question is... Is it about the amount of speed I have or do I just need to get to a certain platform? Yeah, it's, it's a tight jump. You dual wield with G. You go up to like a second weapon and do that. Oh, so I can actually just chain it back and forth to get height and then jump on this. Then where do I go? Do I need to like oh, I bet you have to like B hop off the top of that? What the fuck? 
I want to try and do it. I'm not really getting anything there. The symmetry of the guns is throwing me off. Maybe you should take your OCD pills. Oh man. That's the closest I've gotten. I can't let it beat me. I have to at least get it done once. question is how the hell do I get up there? I did it. You know, Super Mario Odyssey would give me a fat stack of gold coins for coming up here. This game is cool, but does it have fat stack of gold coins at the top of the map? I don't think so. Oh, that's pretty. You know what the vibe kind of reminds me of? Not the vibe, but the colors and music. Bring me back to my Hotline Miami days. Okay. That's not enough. Okay. Did you know Odyssey's movement was based off of Titanfall 2? They just keep surprising me. Yeah. Grabbing the other guns is definitely helping. I can't tell if there's a distance on my shots. Borderlands 2 would give you a chest with mediocre loot. That's true. It feels weird that when Titanfall 2 came out, everyone was making the joke of like, Ah, Team Fortress 2 has some competition. Jokingly, like sarcastically. But the success of Apex Legends has actually turned it around. Ah, Team Fortress 2. Valve's jumping on the bandwagon again. What an awful timeline we live in. to do it. Nothing? Nothing over here? Ooh. Look at that. Bet you I can go to that. I don't, I don't think bee hopping is a legitimate strategy, so I'm just gonna have to run. can't make it. What is that? Like a portal. I, I wonder if I could 
pop off the side of it and bounce. No. It's out of boundary. Yeah, I think a full uh, campaign with this kind of movement, I could play through easy. What the fuck? Okay, there is speed acceleration. Was that because I was shot? Or is there a booster I missed? Bye. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see a booster on the wall. I think I just got like shot. Interesting. That's a high level movement mechanic, boys, right there. I just see tapped off of that wall. It reminds me of... See, I feel like... I don't want to just be like... You can slow time like super hot. But that's... It's definitely like a connection there. Some inspiration. Gotta recover this. Hey Frank, gonna skip the stupid dad come home joke for this one. A whole year. Honestly, love your He's not doing it. Keep making more of it. Also, I'd be happy to celebrate the year by sending you more cursed stuff through Discord DMs. With your permission. Oh, on the contrary, I actually like people sending me cursed images through Discord. I have a very sick sense of humor, so seeing like the giant peanuts with mouths in like abandoned warehouses. I get a kick out of that. So thank you. I've not played Metro Exodus. Relatively uneducated on that regard. And did. All right, is there anything else around here? I don't think I can like climb up. Wait, really? Yeah, I'm fine with cursed images. It's not as it's not like obscene. When I say cursed, I mean like those YouTube compilations of cursed images with Earthbound music cursed. Not dark web. Now, I'm just like searching through all of these side props, but I'm guessing they're just for show right now. did it. Thank you for playing Get to the Orange Door. Alright, that was fun. Uh, it's definitely still a pretty bare bones demo, as you can see. Uh, I'm gonna take the assumption that this is the only level implemented right now. But I think if the full game is going to be similar to how this is laid out, then I'm definitely keeping my eye on this. Uh, I don't know any news on like when like large scale content is planned to release but I'm gonna keep my eye on it uh, if that's it then I guess that's the game uh, which would mark the end of the stream incidentally I want a Jojo spoiler but without context hmm that's a good question what do I have around my room that I can use for a Jojo spoiler that's tough. What would constitute a... I feel like... 
I'm, I'm struggling of overabundance, over choice here. Like, there's too many things. You could look at a fucking cup on the, on a desk and it would be a spoiler, I'm sure. I'll check it, Atomic. I don't, I don't, I literally, I don't know. Yeehaw. There's your spoiler. Yeehaw. Actually, you know what? No. I have the perfect one. Ready for this? Perfect. There's your JoJo spoiler. Technically, that constitutes like three different spoilers. So I don't like... You can't even... There's literally multiple things you could construe from that. So there you go. Ye that's what I'm saying. Yeehaw is a spoiler. You want me to look at your shitty meme? Where is it? Is this... All right, I need to talk to you, Eric the Frying Pan, who sent me this on Discord. Uh, you can leave my Discord channel and just not come back. Thank you. Also, the guy that sent me All Might drawn as Bommy instead, you can leave too. This is not okay. Uh, that's going to mark the end of this stream. I'm just going to hop off. It... There should be a stream tomorrow. It'll probably just be, like, a lax one. Where I do, like, I don't know, Tetris or something. Uh, there should be a funk study out tomorrow. And the main channel video is probably out next week. Uh, that's it. I'm sure you can, like, find the information on the games I played around, but I played Good Night Night and Get to the Orange Door. Out of the two, I definitely was more interested in Get to the Orange Door. And I'm not just biased because my name is in the game's demo. <laughs> but, like, yeah, I mean, cool. I I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be making a funk study on this until there's a bit more content, though. How do you feel about my cursed image? Uh, you can leave too. I mean, in fact, I can ban you. You won't have to leave then. What about mine, Dad? You're gonna make me open Discord again. I don't. What? What's with the all the corn memes? Like, when did corn become a meme? I I don't mean that. I don't want to sound like an old man, but. Does that, like, I feel like corn randomly became, like, a hot topic. Like, it's the new egg. And I don't think that's a good thing, either. There'll be a Minecraft stream this week. Uh, we'll see when. Alright, uh, that's it. I'm gonna send you off. And I'll be back tomorrow. No, you can't kiss me. What the fuck is wrong?